No way. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. This person is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? Bring. Wanna sell in bulk? Sure, it's a deal. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing you. I 
have a suggestion. Damn it! I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? How can I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <sighs> when people speak to you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <sighs> <sighs> Damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Um, uh, hey there. Uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Oh, humor. Uh, humor. You know the beef bowl place? Hey, maybe we could meet up there, huh? Get it? What am I, the chairman? Screw this! You two can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up in the summer heat. The key ingredient is the manganji pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kombu soup stock. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... A pasta cooker. Do we even have one of those here? It's still pretty hot. It requires excess energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. <laughs> Shit! We have returned. Chan? Oh, shh. We should be quiet. It looks like Aragaki Senpai is asleep. He says Aragaki san is not asleep. Huh? Ah, huh. Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. 
Does Aragaki Senpai enjoy cooking shows? I didn't even know this month's issue was out. Huh? Aragaki san frequently watches programs like. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Damn. Forgot you can understand dogs. Aw, oh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, Koro-chan. Next time, I'll make you something, too. Door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. Hmm. Surface body temperature reads 36.2 degrees Celsius. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. Hmm. I cannot stay too long. Or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. Hmm. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I should be safe as long as I sneak out before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm away from home, so it's no big deal, I suppose. In this fashion magazine. I thought I'd take a look after I saw Takeba purchasing one. 256 snazzy looks to knock the socks off of your BFFs. Get her look. Sweet but glam do's and don'ts. What is this even saying? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. The cutest essentials. Well, I would be open to trying this pink one. <laughs> Not that it would suit me anyway. I'm no Takeba. I should remember there's a difference between what appeals to me and what I can actually pull off. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to catch a cold. I should turn in. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Now, which pajamas shall I wear tonight?
Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. This persona, yes? This persona, yes? This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Very well. mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. Mm. Oh, um, do you mind if we take a seat? Do you remember what I told you before? I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. Well, about that. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. I think it was at the start of last April. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf. Some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. Right? I bet you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me. If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that, but I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. Not no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... I've really come to depend on you, and I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. Oh, um, sorry. I'm always going on about my own problems. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but... Somehow, I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I I'm sure it's because you are a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. Back to the dorm. I need some time to get my thoughts in order. Could we talk? 
talk about this again later? <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now. drinks a lot of alcohol. When you grow up, are you going to drink alcohol too? But don't they say it's sometimes necessary to drink for work? And that sometimes it's hard to say no. Being an adult is all about taking the shots you're given. Oh, I just made a pun, didn't I? Alcohol has a very mature feeling about it, doesn't it? I don't think I'm a fan of all the rowdy parties, but having a nice glass does look kind of cool. Speaking of, remember that bar scene? Wow, it's late. Watching those bonus clips took longer than I thought. It's about time I head to bed. Good night. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. 
Does that please take a look? This you are already carrying that one. Please take a so you'll be summoning this one. May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look forward to your next visit. Thanks for coming. I never felt like Baby still with me. We've got some got everything you need. Come again, yeah? Welcome. <laughs> yes. Creating equipment. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. I got my hands on some pretty interesting wear. You like that one? Did that all right? I'll trade you for this. Which one? What would you like? So, what will it be? What would you like? You're sure about this, right? So what now? What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? What would you're sure about here? It's all yours. What would you like? I'm sure this will prove to be useful. You gotta tell no. Everything good? Hope to see you soon. stuff we got in stock. Take a look around, yeah? You made up your mind? What? Something not right? Which ones? What? Something not right? Which ones? You sure? Thanks for coming. You made up your mind. You sure? Thanks for coming. Which ones? That's all you. Thanks for coming. You made up your mind. That's all you. Hey! You gotta tell no. Which ones? Hey! Done already? Come again. Yeah.
Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. Indeed it was. I had to pay for transportation and, of course, my hotel room. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. Like that cat who made fun of me for eating plain rice. Or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Now, they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great. And I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. Remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. My time is worth at least 100,000 yen per hour, you know. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. 